Hello, lovelies. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm going to try and tag some friends in this. How's everyone doing today? How is everybody doing? Well, I'm here in one of my favorite spots. I've just taken Hank for a walk. He's down there, if you can see him. And if you can see, there's a beautiful, I call it a lake, but it's actually a really large pond with ducks on it and trees. Unfortunately, over the other side is the road, so you can hear the main road. But anyway, I just thought I'd check in while I'm here because it's just such a beautiful, beautiful day. The sun's out and I just love days like this. It actually feels quite warm and it just gives you that little taste of spring and summer on the way. And I noticed up at our place, the daffodils are all coming up and coming out a little bit early because we haven't really had a proper winter yet, but we've had quite a lot of rain. So... On a day like this, it just makes it so nice to be able to get out and just sit in the sun. And I've just taken Hank there for a walk. He's got himself a stick, which will keep him occupied for a little while. So I just wanted to talk about things that are going on in the world. And it seems like there's two polarities going on here. There's the one side, which is still all the the coronavirus and the negativity around all that and all the negative stuff that's being planted out around everywhere. And on the other side, there is the positive things that are unfolding. So it feels to me, now I, I am able to look into other dimensions. And when I look into the other dimension of the spiritual war that's going on at the moment, I can see the dark and the light all weaving in and out of each other. And I can see that there are tendrils of light going through the dark. So the light is winning. So I've really wanted to come on board and just say that again today, that no matter what's going on in your life, I've just got to keep a little eye on him. No matter what's going on in your life, don't get too wrapped up in the what appears to be the negative things that are happening. It's just information that's going out there. Try not to give it any emotional attachment and try to look at everything that's unfolding from an objective, um, higher point of view. So you don't get emotionally wrapped up in it. Because I can assure you that the light definitely is winning and um, we're not out of the woods yet there's still lots of things to unfold but it's all part of the process if you just think of everything that's happening at the moment it's a process that has to happen to allow what might appear to be dark stuff to come up but that is what's going to help wake other people up. If we just go along and everything's normal and none of this darker stuff comes up, then the people that are still asleep at the moment won't start questioning things. So those darker things that have to be brought into the light have to appear, have to be shown to help the vast majority, actually, of the population of Earth. Look, there's a heart cloud developing up above me, right there. <laughs> that is so beautiful. But the vast majority of the human race, Hank, come here, is not awake. It's not awake yet. So these things that are being, that, that are unfolding around the world, the information that's getting out there through the internet and now is starting to seek into mainstream media, 
is important because it's going to help those other people wake up. It might appear to be negative to us that are already awake, but again, look at things from a higher perspective because everything has to unfold in the most perfect timing. And if you look at that cloud now that's developing above my head, it's turning into like a, a kind of a bird, like dove type symbol, which is fantastic as well. So we've had a heart and a dove and we'll see what else appears. Hi everyone, it's so, I'm so glad that you can pop in on board and please feel free to share this. I'm just, um, just saying about what's going on now, it's really important for us all to stay with an open heart, looking at things from a higher perspective and feel that grid. Because every time someone's heart opens, we're actually creating a grid through humanity around this planet. So if you like, you can say every time someone's, someone awakens and their heart opens, got to keep an eye on Hank. Um, everyone, every time someone awakens and their heart opens, we are creating a grid. You can call it a love grid if you like, but it's a grid that is connected between each human. And also every time the heart opens, the consciousness expands, creating another grid. So if you like, if you can imagine it, that every time someone's awakening, there is a grid of energy, little more bits being added all the time as each person awakens around the earth. And of course, every time that we have an open heart and expanded consciousness and a higher perspective on things and uh, a, a more loving outlook on things, we are also blending and creating that energy for the earth on a whole. So um, this is just a real short but sweet live. I am sending you all so much love. Look at those clouds now, they've developed. Actually, that looks like it could be a cherub meeting up with something else. I'm not quite sure what that is yet. <laughs> but we've gone from a heart to a dove now perhaps a cherub and or a person lying down actually that could be so that's interesting and it's developing now into something else so if you have any ideas what those clouds are now starting to appear to be please put in the comments because um, you know people see different things in different things so yeah it's important for us to say stay positive, open-hearted, higher consciousness, because we're creating a grid of light around this planet and it's going through each human that is awakening and awakened. So you can imagine there's light coming from the cosmos, from the cosmic core, from the grand central sun, that's also coming into us and we need to anchor that light into the earth. So literally it comes into us and there's providing that your energy centers are all aligned and open. It comes down through going into all your cells, down through your legs, into your earth star chakra, out your feet into your earth star chakra and down into the earth. And this is how we should be anchoring this beautiful light that's coming to the earth and anchoring that down into the earth. We are the grounding rods for this light. So just picture it like that, like a house has a grounding rod. We are grounding rods for this light that is coming to the earth. And it's getting more powerful and raising the frequency of us all daily now. Things are really hotting up. Hi everyone, hi, thanks for jumping on board. This is brilliant, lovely to see you. Lovely to see you, Gary and Caitlin and Sarah Jane and everyone else who's popped on board. Please feel free to comment. I'm in one of my favorite spots, which is that beautiful pond there with all the ducks and everything. And I've just taken Hank for a walk around it. I just love sitting here and it's just such a beautiful day. 
And on the walk around the pond, there are several spots where the elementals are there. I can feel them. I get messages from them. They often leave little signs like twigs in different um, coding. I, I'm going to put it coding. Uh, I did stop around there one at one point and there was a reed leaf moving like this and there's no wind. There were so many little signs I was getting and it's alive with birds. It's beautiful here. And I would recommend everyone to come and have a look. The actual walkway is called Graham Manda Walkway. And it's just before you get to Tapuna here in the Bay of Plenty. Beautiful, beautiful spot. You can come and feed the birds bread, which I did this morning. We had some leftover bread. There's ducks, a couple of geese. It's just a real nice spot to just come and sit and be out in the sunshine, gathering those rays. We've had quite a lot of rain here over the last few days, so it's just so nice to get outside. And of course, Hank likes it. So yeah, we're just talking about what's going on around the world at the moment. There are two polarities unfolding here. There is the information that's out there which seems to be on the darker side of things, but it's just information that's getting out there. It's Don't panic about it. It's just information. And then there is the lighter side of things where we know that people are awakening. There is... Um, uh, yeah, lots of good vibes, Peter, lots of good vibes. There's some good stuff that's happening around the world. And unfortunately, not a lot of it is broadcast because everything is focusing on the coronavirus and everything else. Come on, Hank. Good boy. Good man. Um, but the good side, there is people awakening. Like I said, people's hearts are opening. People that wouldn't normally perhaps awaken with, if just life trundled along as normal, this coronavirus and the information that's being shared is awakening people. People are starting to question things. Um, and it, that's important. And hearts are opening. And people's consciousnesses are expanding. And there's so much beautiful light coming to the planet. And... Like I said just now, there is, a, there is a grid of light that is between each one of us humans. As we awaken, we expand, we connect to other humans, we connect to animals, we connect to the unseen worlds that are here on the earth. And I've connected to them and I do each time I walk around this beautiful walkway because it is full of the fairy folk or the fae folk and beautiful nature spirits. I feel them here all the time. And we have our ET friends around the planet also uh, helping and watching over us and just watching what's unfolding here. So please do not feel that you're on your own. Hi Anne! This is towards Tapuna. Yep, on the North Island. Um, so you're not on your own. Remember that. We are a network of light beings, light workers, light beings, people that don't even realize they're light beings. They're still opening up, not perhaps consciously aware of it, but they are opening up. People are becoming more aware of their own behavior, their own thought patterns, um, uh, and connecting to family and friends is so important. So please don't get wrapped up in all the information out there that might be classed as being negative. It's not negative and it's not positive. It's just information. So don't get emotionally attached to it. Just remember that being in your own sovereign space, but also opening your heart and connecting that uh, grid of light that is between each one of us humans that are open and awake and to many that don't realize they are open. They're beautiful beings. They just don't consciously know that they're awake yet. They might be having really unusual experiences. 
I've had a lot of people come to me um, that have literally woken up overnight and I've had to help them and guide them and just say to them, don't worry. I understand exactly what you're saying. They're seeing ghosts, they're seeing spirit, they're seeing ETs, they're seeing craft. Um, literally, instantly. Um, and it's nothing to worry about. Seek someone that can help you. A lot of the people that have come to me, they've gone to the doctors thinking they've got a brain tumour or they've, that they're seriously ill or they're going mental or any of those things. They are not. They're actually, literally, overnight, the veil has dropped for them, so they're now seeing into those other dimensions. Seek help if you're getting that. There are many, many people out there that can help you and understand because they've been through it. So it's important to seek help. Don't struggle along by yourselves. Seek help and connect with people that are already awake, that already understand, that already see into those veils, that see what's happening and there's going to be a lot more people like that and it's up to us people that are already awake to step up and help these people because when they are going through it themselves they really do some of them feel like they are on their own and we are here to help so positive vibes lovely get yourself out in the sunshine if it's sunny where you are um, feel the earth feel nature soak in that beautiful energy that's coming from the cosmos love yourselves dearly and love everyone else too love yourselves first most important really feel it feel that love for your own soul your own heart and then you can expand that out to everybody else so I'm going to say cheerio for now. Please feel free to share this. If you want to see um, any of the work that I do or what I offer, please go to my website. That's www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. I have a YouTube channel, which when we were in lockdown, I put out so many videos over that teaching about spiritual hygiene. That's what I call it. So looking after yourself spiritually bringing in the light, clearing yourselves. And there's loads of videos on my YouTube channel with information, there's also activation videos. Um, there's videos, oh, my old videos are a lot about healing, how to heal animals and all sorts of other stuff. So if you're stuck for some time and you wanna watch something spiritual, please go to my YouTube channel. I'm under Virginia Jones on YouTube and I am going to wish you all so much love, have a beautiful day and lots and lots of love from us. Oh, Hank is here right by my side now, from me and Hank. I think he's been in the pond, he's all wet. <laughs> you are, you've been in there, haven't you? Frightened the birds probably. But lots and lots of love from us. Enjoy your day, keep that high vibe because we are riding this wave. We are riding it. Um, don't sink down. Don't let yourself sink down into all the stuff that's going on. Keep riding that high wave. We're going to come out the other side of this and we're going to come out the other side of this much better people with much more wisdom, much more knowledge and the truth in everything is going to be revealed. Don't get frightened by it. Release fear. Keep that loving energy because we are being helped. You're not on your own. Remember that. So much, much love, take care, and bye from us here in New Zealand. Bye for now, bye.